What's up guys, it's been a couple weeks since my last progress video on this account. So starting the week off, pretty much just, uh, I did a lot of farm runs, a lot of uh, birdhouse runs. So far I've been getting all my seeds from Master Farmer. I have over a thousand Guam seeds right now, so that just shows how much Master Farmer I've done. I've also been doing a little bit of motherload mine. It's pretty AFK. I The ores I get from it will be pretty helpful for smithing and darts in the future. So there is 75 mining. Also went and did a little bit more of the tithe farm. I wanted to unlock the auto weed, which makes this. And what auto weed does is it makes it so weeds never grow in a patch after you've bought the auto weed. So if there's already weeds there, then you have to weed the weeds before it actually takes effect. But um, it's pretty helpful because I was finding that uh, the weeds were growing back a lot on my herb runs and stuff. I would think it would be kind of rare for them to grow back like the half a second between me uh, finishing harvesting my herbs and then planting the next seed but it happened actually quite a bit so I decided to just go and get that done because it's pretty quick it only cost 50 points I also made a bit more darts and then um, I mainly did that to get my fletching up I wanted 62 fletching and then I boosted from 62 up to 65 so I could make a U short bow and the reason I needed a U short bow was for Temple of Ikov and Temple of Ikov is a prereq quest for a desert treasure so got that quest done and then I moved on to uh, solely set mushroom chopping which is on Fossil Island and it's actually a pretty good method the XP per hour is pretty good um, well if you compare it to two tick teaks it's not that good at all but uh, compared to AFK teaks it's actually pretty good and it's pretty AFK and you get tons of fossils from it. I think it's the fastest fossils in the game. So if you ever want to get all the fossils, that is a very good way to go. Uh, they have a 65 requirement. So I was 65 when I started. You also get lots of fungus, which you use for super energy potions. And then you get an ingredient for a pie, which I think the pie gives plus four crafting. So I'm pretty sure I have enough uh, fossils to go and finish all of the displays now. At least this is what I read online somewhere. I think it was 70 small. Uh, 50 medium and 40 large so we'll go and see if I have enough um, and I did that through the solely set mushrooms on fossil island in total I gained 894,000 woodcutting experience which I guess is about 7,039 of XP drops or chops um, logs cut whatever you want to call it and this is the loot that I got from that 52 uh, solely set caps uh, the fungus and the mushrooms. I dropped a lot of the mushrooms, so I did get a ton more of that, but yeah, I often drop that. Uh, I didn't drop any of the fungus though, so that's how many fungi I actually got. Starting at level 65, that's where I started. I was getting about, uh, I think it was 55k XP per hour. And then at my level now, I'm getting closer to like 70k XP per hour. So it probably took me around 10 to 15 hours total to get all of the fossils. And the reason why I'm getting the fossils is because uh, when you trade them in and finish the, the displays, it gives you XP lamps. I'm going to be using those XP lamps on Herblore. So I'll get a big chunk of free Herblore XP. Also, I needed 75 woodcutting to cut magic logs because I need magic logs for desert treasure. I know there are other ways to get them, but I figured I want... I figured I was going to get 75 woodcutting at some point eventually anyway, so I might as well get it now and get some herb XP while doing it. So that's why I picked the solely set mushrooms. Here we go. Let's see if I have enough. I'll go ahead and show you guys. I just cleaned all of my finds. So there should be a fossil box down. Oh, no, it's, on, it's down the other stairs. Okay. So I should have a fossil box and that will show how many of each I have. So lots of small. Came out pretty even there. Uh, medium pretty even as well okay so maybe it just goes in order uh, so pretty even with the large almost six of each uh, plant three and a half sets didn't claim my rares because uh, I don't think there's any cases where you use rares right now so let's go ahead and use these so in the end I was short seven plant fossils and uh, four medium fossils and after turning in all the XP lamps that I got from that, I got over, I think it was just a little over 100k herb XP. So after that, I went on to chop a little bit more of the mushrooms, and I think it took like another uh, 14 large fossils or something like that. I had to do the seven, because large fossils turn into the plant fossils, and I had to get seven more plant fossils, and it kind of switched back and forth between large and plant fossils. So it was something like 14 large fossils I had to get. Finished that off, got some herb XP from that. 
did Desert Treasure, still uh, doing Motherload Mine when I needed to AFK. And with Desert Treasure done, that unlocked me the Ancient Magics, which is going to be really helpful, and the Ancient Staff, which is going to be my best melee weapon for a little while, because I want to chin my range up to at least 90 plus before actually finishing Monkey Madness, so I can't use a Dragon Simi uh, anytime soon. I did a little bit of AFK training on Fossil Island just to get my stats up a little bit more before doing Slayer. I also did the Ghostly Robe mini quest. Uh, the reason for that is because it gives you a 10k XP lamp if you go to the museum after doing it. So I used that lamp on Herplor and the reason why I'm showing this clip is because I had to go into the wilderness to do the mini quest and that was uh, pretty dangerous. I had to go through the lava maze and stuff and go through that uh, pretty dangerous area just south of KBD. But luckily everything went fine. Plus after that I did Eagle's Peak. Fairy Tale Part 2, Edgar's Ruse. Edgar's Ruse and Fairy Tale Part 2 give herb XP, so that was pretty helpful. And Edgar's Ruse gives you a teleport up to Trollheim. And with that, I started doing Slayer. Slayer finally, where I actually get to some dangerous content where I could die. Hold it! Hold the Hold! Oh, come on, dude. Oh, my. And that's how it ends. <laughs> For real. And there we have it. The end of the hardcore Iron Man pure. Now we are a Iron Man pure. I was crying inside. That was pretty hard to watch. Um, It wouldn't be as bad if I went out in a little bit better way, like if I was prayer flicking bandos or something like that and then I died that would not be too bad but going out to a lesser demon because I'm afking that is hard that is sad that's pathetic I just barely started slayer as well I was 45 slayer I think so a ton of skilling and then as soon as I get to combat I die that is if anyone guessed that early on congratulations you win I died early on <laughs> And right now, I'm not too sure what I want to do, if I want to continue playing this account or not. If I do continue playing the account, it's probably going to still just be a pure, like I've been doing. It doesn't feel the same, though. I mean, I wanted to get all those PVM goals with never dying. That would have been a lot more special and unique, in my opinion. Now, I'm just a regular Iron Man account. I could die 5,000 times, and it doesn't matter. So it just doesn't feel the same, and yeah, I'm just not too motivated to play right now. Which really sucks because I did a lot of skilling and stuff to prepare for combat. I have a bunch of prayer potions. I have like, I think counting the supplies I have ready to make prayer potions plus the prayer potions I already have. I have close to, <clears throat> close to 2,000 prayer potions and that just really sucks that I died so early on. Because I'm pretty sure there are already pure Iron Men that have like pretty much all the PVM stuff. So it's, it's not the same. Like I don't know of any hardcore Iron Man Pure that have very many, if any, hard PVM items to get, so that is uh, really unfortunate. I was planning on PKing on this account eventually when it was hardcore, um, after I finished all my PVM goals when the account was pretty much done and I had nothing left to do on it, then I was going to PK on it, see how long I could last PKing before dying. Of course, I would save a ton, so I wouldn't die immediately unless I got DDoSed or something or the server just DC'd. So that was the plan, but now that I'm not a hardcore anymore, I could PK on the account if I want to. PKing isn't quite the same as it used to be, so I don't enjoy it as much. I And the thing is with RuneScape, I've actually been pretty bored with it lately. Um, this account was actually really fun. Like I was having a lot of fun with this account, more fun than I've had in a while on RuneScape, so kind of sucks that it's coming to an end now. And I'm not too sure how much RuneScape I'm gonna be playing and how many videos I'm gonna be uploading. But if you have a preference in what kind of videos I make in the future, um, just comment down below what you guys want to see. Did you like this account want to see more of it, even though I'm not hardcore anymore? Or do you want me to go back to making videos on my main account or something else? I'm, I've am i been kind of thinking about just going back to doing kind of like sort of challenging myself and doing sort of challenge videos like I did back in the day. Um, I never got to anything like technically challenging really. I mostly did like 500, 500 Armadillo kills in a day or kind of more like time challenges. I might go back to doing that and get to actually trying to do some technically difficult challenges like soloing raids two or um, doing an inferno cape on my one defense pure or something like that that's more technically challenging instead of just time or trying to get like the fastest kill at some boss or something like that. I don't know, fastest barrows run. 
tons of stuff I could do, but yeah, I'm pretty much open to doing whatever at this point if I continue playing RuneScape and making videos. The one thing that I was having a lot of fun with just died, so I was looking forward to some sort of big announcement at uh, RuneFest, like possibly Group Iron Man or... Of course, the one thing I always like to mention is some sort of seasonal server that resets every year or two. So I'm not too sure what the future holds for the videos I'm going to be making. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys all for watching and see you in the next video.